Hello crafty friends, my name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I'm here today with a follow-up video for a fun mystery guest spot I did over the weekend. I hope you'll stick around, learn more about that, and see what I'm gonna create today. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Over the weekend, I was the mystery guest on Stamp Wars 28. Now, if you've never heard of Stamp Wars, you've got to check it out. It is kind of like craft roulette and oh so inspired on acid. <laughs> you get together with Nancy Stamps and her team, which I'll talk about later, and you create live with mystery products that they send you. You can't open them up until the live starts and they throw sabotages at you along the way. So it was loads of fun. If you weren't able to catch it live, I hope you'll check out the replay. I will have it linked in the description box below and in an end card at the end of this video. Today, I'm gonna to be using the same products we got for Stamp Wars, but I'm just gonna make a card casually using them just to show you another way. I will not be giving myself any sabotages. Now I will tell you a little bit more about it later, but everyone else will be doing a follow-up video and I know that Nancy already has hers up and you have a chance to win the products that we got to use. So make sure to check that out. I will link that video and everyone else's channel down in that description box as well. The products that we got to use for the evening were from The Ton, which I have never used their products before, so that was an extra special treat. We got this five part stencil set that created this gorgeous flower along with the die to cut it out and a fun set of sentiments which you can see some of them here where you just stamp it a couple different times and then you have lots of sentiments to use. Now the night of the live I did just do everything in black ink to make it quick but I think in today's video I'm going to try to stamp one part with black ink and then heat emboss the fancier font with a little gold. Now as I get into the process I will tell you about more products and details and I'm going to talk a little bit more about stamp wars. If I do leave you with any questions make sure to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! The star of today's show is going to be the layered stencil set. Now it does come with a die, but I won't be using it today. I do want to talk a little bit about these awesome stencils. So they are all clearly labeled as one of five, two of five. And in the bottom left hand corner is a large etch of the number as well. Another thing they do is they suggest the light, medium, dark. That is awesome, so I don't have to guess. And there is the one stencil that has, I believe it's light green, and then they tell you some areas that you should do in black, and those are the centers of the flower. Now you could definitely do something different, like you'll see here today, I'm gonna be heat embossing those. I'm gonna get started by stenciling, so of course I needed to bring in my stencils. I pre-cut a piece of white cardstock that was five and a half by four and a quarter, and I will be working on this piece of grid paper today, and that's because I'm gonna do a lot of rotating and replacing the stencils in not just like your normal, you know, straight on 90 degree angles. I added a little adhesive to the back of my white cardstock, and then I went in and I made pencil marks around where that sat, and I did make sure that it lined up with the squares on the grid paper. Now I'm going to kind of do the same thing with my stencils because I will have to put all five in the same place. So I angled it so I could stencil just the corner and when that was where I wanted it I added those pencil marks and to hold it in place I brought in a little piece of painters tape, took some of the tack off with the back of my hand and I'm just going to do the hinge on the left. 
Now the night of stamp wars, we did each have to choose a color to do at least one of our flowers with. And since I knew that I already had three Gina K pinks that would go together, I was so glad that I got to choose first because I wasn't sure how long it would take me to figure out three colors that would go together if I couldn't use those. Now today though I did spend some time looking at my other inks and I came up with a nice blend of blues which I will list the individual colors below that I'm going to use for today. Now as I get started on this I want to make sure that I don't over blend onto my white cardstock so I added some post-it notes there and starting with stencil number one and the lightest ink I'm going to go in and ink up this first layer. Now for mine I will be turning my piece of cardstock and inking with the same color again. So because I put those pencil marks, it's easier for me to know exactly where that should go so I can ink blend in the correct area at all times. Once I have done both layers in both corners, I removed the stencil and put number two down using the stencil lines that I drew there. I just had to make sure that my large etched number was always in that left corner and then it would be in the right place to continue blending. And I just went along with the darker inks. Now, while you watch me do that, I wanted to tell you some more about Stamp Wars in case you don't know about it. It is a live crafting challenge put on by Nancy Stamps over on her channel. Now she does have a fun group of creators who join her each time and later I will talk about them. But now I just want to kind of tell you about the concept. So they have a mystery guest each time and they work with mystery products. Now sometimes the guest might be the owner of the company, but like with me, I was just a mystery guest and there was a sponsor company. I got a package in the mail um, almost a week ahead of time and it told me I couldn't open it. So it was so tempting. I wanted to know what was in there. And in fact, the morning of the live, my daughter and I kind of did feel the package to try to figure out what it might be. We were partially right, but there was way more than I expected. So the night you go live, um, the mystery guest is introduced and one of the Stamp Wars team is the hostess. So they come up with the requirements for the cards. So like for us, we had to make an A2 with um, a die cut of this stenciled flower. And we also had to make a mini slim line with it stenciled just flat down onto the cardstock, no die cutting. So normally throughout the night, they'll throw you other sabotages like every 20 minutes. I think I got a little bit lucky because we kind of knew all of ours, you know, within the first 10 minutes or so. Um, but I, I didn't know that. So I kept, you know, like I did all my ink blending quickly. If you watch that, because I was afraid one of the sabotages was going to be, you can't use blending brushes. So I got that done and I just kept creating, just trying to get stuff done, waiting for the next sabotage, but luckily it never came. Some of the other things we had to do was the die cut, the A2 card had to have a dark background. Now that is not something normally I do, but I ended up putting an embossed piece of black cardstock behind the die cut flower, and it was just gorgeous. I am definitely gonna try this again. I believe they host a Stamp Wars once a month. I will link Nancy Stamps channel below and if she has a specific Stamp Wars playlist, I will link that as well. So you can go check out some of the past um, videos. They are very fun to watch. And then at the end of the night, each person shares a close up look of what they have created. It's not always cards. And yeah, it just, it was really loads of fun. And I'm glad that Tracy, who was the host for mine, took it a little easy with not throwing in those sabotages constantly. Here's a look at all of the blue layers done. I just love how real the flower looks and it's already pretty amazing, but I do still need to stencil with the green ones. So I did that off camera and here's a look at that finished. Now, like I mentioned before, there is one more step on the light green stencil and it is the center of the flowers. Now I'm going to try something that I've never done before, but I know that others out there have. I'm going to use Versamark ink in the stencil with some gold embossing powder. I thought this would be a great way to add some more gold since I'm going to try to do some of the sentiments gold embossed as well. So I got out my Versamark pad, my gold embossing powder, and a little sponge 
dauber thingy and before i do go in with the ink i treated my stenciled cardstock with an embossing powder tool to hopefully get the powder to stick only to where i want it and then i got the stencil placed back in place using those same marks as before now I just kind of dabbed in my ink pad and then went over and dabbed in the area of the stencil I needed the Versamark on. And uh, spoiler alert, it worked and it kind of didn't. The center of those teeny tiniest flowers was too small so no ink got in there. But you'll see later I cover that up and you won't even know that there should have been gold centers in those flowers. While I finish up those flower centers, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the Stamp Wars team. Now, like I mentioned before, it's headed up by Nancy of the Nancy Stamps YouTube channel, and that is where they host the lives at. But she also has a group of regular crafters that join her each time. Now, sometimes they're the hostess and they're off camera during the main part, like Tracy was for this last time, and other times they are right on screen crafting. So the other members are Tracy, who is Tracy Schultz here on YouTube. There is Chow, who is Create with Chow. T, who I guess is also named Tracy, but to tell them apart, she goes by T. And she creates on the Not Afraid of Color YouTube channel. Now, one member who wasn't there that night, sometimes she's... um off camera either doing the hosting or maybe over moderating the live is Stacy and I will have her channel linked below as well. Please make sure to go check out their channels, see what they've created and while you're there if you enjoy what you see go ahead and click that subscribe button. Here's a close up look at those embossed flower centers. I like the added little shine it gives. Now let's get some sentiments made to add to this card. Luckily, once I'm done stamping these, I'll have some for future cards as well. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna try to do these in two tones. I'll have the sans serif printed part in just black ink and then the fancier scripty part gold embossed. Now this was my first time using these stamps the night of the live and I have to say they went together pretty easily. I started with just a scrap of white cardstock and I placed the serif or the simpler font down on that piece and then I got that inked up and stamped with memento black ink. Now my stamp pad is awfully dry so I did have to ink it up a couple times but once I liked the darkness of the black ink I then cleaned off my stamp, removed it from the misty and now we're going to get the second part stamped. On the stamp are some rectangles, and you'll see those that I've stamped in black ink. And these same rectangles are on the fancier script piece. So you line these up, and I did put my head over it. I took that part out, but I got that lined up really well before I inked it up and stamped it. Now, once again, because I will be heat embossing, I use my powder tool before doing the stamping. For this, I did ink it up and stamp it twice just to make sure it was nice and juicy for the powder. And then I got that heat set. While I finish working on this, I thought I would stop by with some unofficial questions of the video. And I'm just curious, did you watch Stamp Wars live? Have you caught the replay? And did you find my channel because of it? I would love to know your answers. You can leave those in a comment below. I always love to see what you say and reply. Here's a look at the finished sentiments. I always love it when there's kind of a plain font put with a fancy scripty font and I love the touch of gold on these. Once the sentiments were heat embossed, I used a coordinating die to cut them out. And this has a place to line up the rectangles and also a couple places to line up circles that got stamped as well. So I took that off camera, got those die cut, and then I had to make a choice of which sentiment I wanted. I ended up choosing have a fabulous day. And to finish these off, I added some gold pearls. I die cut the stenciled piece with a stitched rectangle and then and put this on a blue card base and added a white cardstock inside for my personal message and my personal stamp on the back. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed this little Stamp Wars follow up, seeing how I use the products in a different way and hearing more about my experience. 
If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to check out the replay if you missed it live. And check out and subscribe to all of the other Stamp Wars participants channels. Those are all linked in that description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.